He, he dresses like a woman. And welcome to episode two of Slightly Ajar Treasure Chest, your video game music review show. We're back here. Um, I'm your host, Jess Smart, and I've got Nate Bit right here with us. Nate Bit right coach. here. And we got Ed for the win, also that secret producer that everyone hates to love and loves to hate. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. I so I, I do. if you tuned in last episode, episode one, um, which I'm really excited about, we let a few people listen to it already, and uh, I hope you guys checked it out because I think it was pretty awesome. But we told our audience that this month is going to be what's going to be our theme in our treasure chest is our scary video games. So we're scary gonna be, video games. Scary video games. We're talking about games you bought, and you were just like, oh, my God, I can't play this after Spooky. midnight because it is just wetting my pants every single time. So we're going to be doing a lot of video game music from that and really kind of going over what makes what made these games scary and some of the scary games that we're looking out for. But today, or this week episode specifically, we are going to be talking about games we didn't expect to be scary. What does that mean? That what does mean, that mean? You were playing a game and all of a sudden it scared you or or what? Yeah, absolutely. You Maybe you're playing, this is a really bad example, but maybe you're playing um, a certain Mario stage and Mario. <laughs> Mario is terrifying. Uh, no, here's, here's, here's what it was. <laughs> you were playing Super Mario World for the very first time and you first encountered that guy who, who throws baseballs at you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're, what is that? You're like, you're like, yeah. oh my god, what is <laughs> yeah. that? You know, and it's, it's true. Is an actual human. You know what I mean? The Mario never faced like What is he like doing in a Mario before. game with a? He's got a helmet. He, he throws he's baseballs. baseballs. He's throwing and... baseballs. He's kicking footballs at you. He's jumping up and <laughs> snapping at you. I mean, you're just like, what is this thing? Well, I don't know, but I got to kill it. How do I kill it? You can't run into it. You got to jump on it because it's Mario. You break its neck and it falls off the stage. You know, but even even more so, some of these RPGs and shooters that you bought that you're just like, man, this stage. You know, the music really set the tone for the stage and really kind of shook you when, I don't know, maybe something, a big monster jumped out the back or the boss came through and said, boo, ja, boo, ja, boo, boo, and you couldn't really understand what it was saying. But it freaked you out. It freaked you out. But before we get into all that, we're going to go to Ed for the win for the news, just in case That's you right. haven't been paying attention online, which I'm sure you probably have. But here it is anyway. Ed, what do we got? We've got some Halo news, actually. Halo news. Halo yeah. coming up soon. Halo, Halo Four. And I, for one, cannot wait. Me neither, actually. But there's some new footage of a new vehicle in Halo Four. Okay. It's called the Mantis. Ooh. And it basically is a mech. Like, like mech assault kind of mech. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So I could get in it and drive around a mech. Yeah, so you walk around, you can stomp on ghosts. All right. Now, this is why Halo is so awesome. Every Halo has literally given us, like, something completely new mm -hmm. that's always been, like, mind-blowing. Like, I remember the... I mean, again, like, introducing the whole armors and reach with, oh, like, yeah. the jetpack. What other shooter game that can you use it like that? And it it actually works. It's simple, but it works. They incorporate it into the game per pretty well. Oh, my God. I, that's all I picked. Like, for literally for, like, the first year, I think, I was like, oh, fuck an armor lock. I'm going to fly at Jetpack. you and just mm -hmm. get my, you know, get your BR and just go, go crazy with it. It's out of control. So, um, you know, I, I'm really excited for it. I saw it. I don't like how it looks like every mech, every American mech ever. Every mech. You There's know only I mean? so many ways you can make. I mean, you can make it original. I, but you know, I just you know, it's, it's me. Legs and it's, two arms to shoot. It might yeah. just be me and just Gundams, man. I, I saw a Gundam and I was like, dude, I just need this Japanese gigantic killing <laughs> colony destroying robot in every fit video game. But it's gonna be cool. I'm ready for it. I'm super excited. I'm, I'm pretty excited. happy about it. Yeah. If, if I could step on a ghost and just destroy it that way, or even kick a ghost, I want to kick a ghost. Well, it's gonna be amazing. it's gonna be better to just step on actual Spartans. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, honestly, you know, that's gonna be the best. It's gonna be probably more satisfying than running him over with a ghost. You know? Oh, yeah. The, uh, oh, I love that. Yeah. And especially when they just don't expect it. I always, I always love <laughs> yeah. the guy. They're, they're just running, chasing somebody. Double kill. Splatters. I, I love the guy who like jumps, but he jumps too late, and you just <laughs> clip him, and he just and then he just in. flies across oh, the map. Oh my god, that is so satisfying. That's my favorite part. <laughs> I don't even know if it's a glitch or they just kept it in there, but you, you kill somebody, 
And for whatever reason, you hit them, and they just fly like 50 they just fly, feet across like, there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, wow, okay, can yeah. I, let me save this. What else we got, Ed? What else is on the new? There's a couple of new release dates dropping tomorrow. All right. What are we, what, what's coming up? What's coming Two titles up? coming out tomorrow on October 2nd are Resident Evil 6. Right. Resident Evil. Thank you, Nate. Definitely a scary game that goes by <laughs> scary month. We'll probably oh, talk about that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. And NBA 2K13. NBA 2K13. Terrifying. Has... The scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just to get that old bullshit, Dennis Rodman, and just ah. <laughs> Actually, I don't. I don't think Dennis is that scary, guys. That was that was bullshit. You can. Sorry. I mean, maybe you don't, but really though, no. he's, he's kind of scary. No. He dresses like a woman. You wouldn't want to come the, across the to him scary... in a full gown in the right. middle of an alleyway. <laughs> well, well, the only scary thing about basketball players is running into a basketball player at like your grocery store and be like, Jesus Christ, what what are you, a demon? Because they can like <laughs> see over every aisle. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? They're like, Hey, could you hand me that? <laughs> what is that a joke? Joke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just throw it to aisle seven. Yeah, exactly. It but just um, hand it to me over the lunch. No, I mean, I'm, I, I, I haven't always been a huge Resident Evil fan. I played Why four. Not? Three. Wait, what do you got against? I played Resident one Evil? and four. I have nothing again. I, have nothing. I just never played. I, I just never really like right. played them. Maybe the timing. Timing is off. Sure. Just like love. Yeah, get quiet. <laughs> no, okay. Um, <laughs> so but I, I'm, watching, I'm watching the trailer for this one, and this one has everybody in its yeah, mom. It has like Chris, Leon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this it's is crazy. This is, crazy. And, this is gonna be crazy. And this that's be... and that's kind of a turn that I feel some people aren't aren't liking. Some people are kind of digging because it has so many different storylines. But you can't be like a master of all. You know, there's something gonna be lacking. And apparently, there's different kinds. One's a little more actiony. One's a little bit more drama-y. I think the, yeah. the Leon one was kind of more like uh, Resident Evil Four. Yeah. Mm, you I'm, know, I mean, as gamers are getting, we're getting just smarter, and these games are getting more complex. I dig it, and they need to be. They mm -hmm. need to be so complex and so dynamic that being like instantly talented at it is just is extremely difficult mm -hmm. because you're just you're just faced with so many different like dynamics. Going back to Halo, like you know, of course I got a jetpack, but if this guy's got um uh shield shield he's got no he's got armor lock and he's using like a shotgun then i'm done you know what i mean mm -hmm. if i get close to him the minute he pops that open and blows my shield off i'm done oh yeah you know what i mean like that's that's what i like you know it's a crazy dynamic black ops i love black, I, black I, ops i mean I'll call it <laughs> black <Carl> cops of <laughs> <Duty>. <laughs> carl of duty uh <laughs> black ops i love but i'm just like man you know it's other other than guns are just you know you could drive a race car in that game yeah there's no race cars in halo yeah <laughs> yeah you're right i'm just kidding I'm halo rc that. car yeah is that is that it for news again nothing else is like huge well looper came out over the weekend yeah i i i i kind of you want to talk about i kind of forced ed into that one oh, for the win yes. into looper it's not gaming related at all it's not gaming related but you know honestly they might throw out a looper game because who knows, who knows? Do I mean, that. they could but, either way worth talking but about. i mean like come on i mean it's it's kind of like one of these matrix time movies that i think everybody who loves gaming like was like oh my god let's go see this movie and it was a, it was very fun. It was a fun movie, man. I thought it was very really cool. Me, me and Mark went to the uh, midnight release down there, and we got I got there early, like <laughs> I got there like ten. I was like, I'm ready for a line. <laughs> 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 I got there. I'm like, all right, let's do this. And uh, no, no one really was in line. Yeah. And we hung out at the bar. Don't you know? Don't sleep on Looper. Go see it. It's fun. Um, I think you have a good time. And the best thing was like seeing like uh, was this Justin Gordon Levitt. Yeah, really. Jordan. Justin Jordan. Jordan. Jo Joseph. Jordan. Joseph. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Just the say mixture JDL. of both. Yeah. Uh, seeing him actually be. Uh, Bruce Willis. Yeah. Like, because they actually made, I mean, like, they, they, put, like, they, they put, put a put nose this, on him. They put a nose on him, like, make nice makeup, yeah. and literally, give him blue eyes. he mastered all his mannerisms. Like, that was the oh, coolest yeah. what, thing. What was it? The, the, the forehead? The forehead. Lines, the you know? forehead. You're, you're watching a movie, you're like, dude, that's that's Bruce Willis when he was, like, a kid. And you, yeah. I mean, of course, we, we've never seen Bruce Willis, like, actual childhood. <laughs> my, my favorite part of the movie, and I think there's a couple people in the audience that started laughing, but it's showing this montage of him kind of like, it's like, Five years, and it shows Joseph like shooting shit. Ten years, and it shows him shooting shit some more. Then all of a sudden, it's like fifteen years, and it's Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. <laughs> you're like Bruce with long hair. You're like, it's like wait, yeah. wait, when did he get like slightly old and fat? I never, you know? I never want to do a montage of myself and see that. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, dude, what the fuck happened? Yeah. It, it'd be like you, like it's like ten, yeah. year, ten years, Mark, fifteen years, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, yeah. like what? Like I mutated into something <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting. When did he grow four feet? And oh my god. I, I don't know. Uh, moving on, guys. Again, uh, theme of the show today, games we didn't expect to be scary. Um, mm -hmm. So we've all made our choices, and I think there's a couple that might really kind of pop up. But this was actually a hard theme for me, guys. It was, mm -hmm. it was a difficult 
thing to really there's, think about what game I really felt like found frightening and I just didn't expect it at all. Like, there's, there's a lot of different ways you could take it. You know, what's scary to you? It's kind of subjective. Su- 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 uh, <laughs> subjective. <laughs> Sa- subjective. Subjective. You know, but like some games are, are scary. Some games are meant to be scary. Absolutely. Some games uh, are not scary, but they found a way to scare. Right. And I think every game incorporates like the level where it ha- it's a darker level. It might be like a dark forest or mm-hmm. underground thing when they usually have like a scarier theme music. The boss happens to be some deformity of your mom and like, you know, your auntie and like <laughs> a, and like a fish what? put together. And You're like, fish. oh my God, what is that? Why is, mom, why is my mom on the what? game? Why is she a fish? <laughs> fish mom is on the game. Uh, it's it's those things put together and you're like, oh, I got to kill it. Fish mom, no. <laughs> you're having nightmares because you kill fish mom. <laughs> <laughs> she comes Traumatic. to your room, baby. You okay? I killed you last night. <laughs> I'm pretty what sure happened? I killed you last night. But uh, for me, you it was uh, for me my game of choice was a game actually I never played. Um, this is I couldn't have been more. You never than, played it. I never played this game. That I'm actually going to talk about. I watched. I I literally told my dad. He was like, "Hey, I want to start playing video games. What yeah. should I do?" I said, "You should go to the store and see if they have any RPGs." So I was really into Final Fantasy. I'm playing oh, yeah. like you know, I'm in Final Fantasy. Your, your dad's telling you this? Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm telling my dad this because oh, he's awesome. you know he's 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 on the computer playing Star Trek, <laughs> okay. which was dope. You know, yeah. I actually used to watch him play Star Trek, and I was like, I couldn't really get it because it was kind of complicated. But I was like, every time like you know, I don't know, Data kind of came up with his face on like a on like a <laughs> Sega on his computer. I was like, yeah, that's Data. Yeah, awesome, sure is. awesome, sure but. Is. He bought this game called Draken on a Super NES. Dragon? Uh, Draken is D R D R A K K E N. All right. Okay. And hmm. I've it was never heard of this game. The, yeah, it, I mean, it's, I feel it's, bad. One, it's one of those sleeper games that you PC. know you had to be. No, no, no. It's on Super NES. Oh, you said this. He wanted okay. to get on consoles. Mm. He wanted, and now he's huge. He's got in Merwin. He's got every Elder Scrolls right. and all that good stuff. He, that's all he plays. He's like, Mark, send me the new one because I can't. I'm just not going to buy it. I want you to <laughs> buy it for me. I'm like, okay. Um, but he buys this game and he's playing the game and I'm like, oh, this is looks. Kind of cool RPG. It's not like uh, the Final Fantasy. We have the four co- um, characters on the side. Mm-hmm. It's actually kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh cards of characters. Four guys in front of you. So it, and it you, plays out like a card game. No, no, no. It's like it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like you. Your first person view. First person view. You can see the entire world. You walk around in the world. But like these random hit enemies will come in front of the screen, and then your guys who are like behind your cards uh-huh. would come off the screen and jump this dude. Oh cool. It was it was that was the best thing about it. Like if you really thought about it, it was it was always your four guys jumping whatever beats. <laughs> they just come now, out. Yeah, they just, they just come out like, oh, get him. Oh, 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 get him, shake him up, shake him up. And you know the guy dies, he bursts into like, you know, it's video games, he bursts into like a thousand pieces and you you take his gold points, even though he was like a gold, shark. Gold Why does that shark have gold points? Why does a shark need somebody? currency? Right. Oh that's what, true. What is a shark he, buying? <laughs> Hello, I like. What does a shark need? I like. I need a, like, uh, like, uh, uh, I need a fish, coat, please. <laughs> yeah. I need a coat. It's uh, sharks just don't wet. get cold. It's just wet where I'm at. I, I need something to soak up all that water. I can't. I can't do it. I need a towel. Bunch of towels. Um, no, it's so. Uh, it, so it was. You know, I'm watching them play this game, and it, again, it was just. It was just different for me. So I'm just like everything that unexpected happened was just kind of like already kind of shaking me because the guys, not like Final Fantasy where you're walking and you can get this like brum 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 when you go into the battle. Yeah. They just the guys just come across the screen. You walk and it's like, Rrr! and you're like, okay. And the guys come on, the guys come on, jump them, and they kill mm-hmm. them. Um, but at night, this is one of the first games that went from day to night. Uh, Probably mm-hmm. one of the first games I've ever seen. Maybe maybe the first, maybe not. It went from day to night. And at mm-hmm. night, sometimes you will look like you have the moon in your screen, and this dragon will come out of nowhere and kill everybody. Like the dragon will come and be like, <laughs> you know, like that was that was the NES, and that was the NES like bit version of a dragon mm-hmm. sounding, and your guys would come up and he just do like one attack, and when your guys died, they had an X over their card. Oh yeah, so die, 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 and that'd be it. But it was the scariest thing because every time it turned night, you would think this dragon will come. Mm. Like every mm-hmm. time, it wasn't like. It's like it's nighttime. Get so you're inside. Expect, you're waiting for you. Right. Like, oh crap! No, I don't want this to happen. Exactly. Like I don't know. Like if I kind of read, if I probably got into the story because I didn't play, but I bet it was like you know dragons rule the world and get inside at nighttime. Because my dad would like run for shelter, like <laughs> run for shelter every time I got dark. <laughs> oh, but I was. Gonna... But he's like it's getting dark and it's like fading. To, like you know 
four scenes of like uh, blue, light blue, then like orange, then brown, and black. And that was it. You and knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. And it's like, dude, get in that fucking house, Can you house, beat man. the dragon? Or is it you just can, something? You could definitely beat if, the if dragon. You're high enough you just level. had to be strong enough. Mm-hmm. It's like fighting, if Final Fantasy VII, fight one of the weapons for the first did, time. Did it? was like, oh, I had no idea. I had no idea this was so strong. Did it level I, up with you? Like certain areas had a stronger dragon? I, I mean, no. You remember? No. No. I, I, from what I remember, I, I, I was so afraid of it. Yeah. I was so afraid of it. <laughs> I ran out of the I, room every time. I saw, I saw the dragon three times, and I was like, hey, I'm not watching you play this game anymore um you're <laughs> on your scary. own I, I love you scary. but I, i'm on your i just fought mom as a fish i can't do it <laughs> <laughs> i can't handle that you know and for the record uh i could think of another game that did turn from night and day castlevania on the nes yeah that's oh, exactly what yeah. i said yeah yeah uh, you can't do part that two. that's scary part two. no that's... it was yeah oh was it the part two yeah oh okay yeah, look yeah, at yeah either way that, that, that game was pretty sure it was but it was two. meant to be terrifying yeah yeah, yeah. uh what, Ed for the win. What, uh, what game did you pick? I bet you Ed picked a random game. On. I bet it was like I bet it was like a racing game. But it was Ed Barbie game. horse racing. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Yeah. A racing game terrifying. that was like terrifying. Like I, <laughs> I just crashed and I, I couldn't do it. Rock and roll racing. Maybe that could have been scary. Right. I've never played that. Maybe I made that up. No, that, that's that, actually, actually that's, 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 that's SNES. Wait, so yeah. are you yeah. have a yeah. guitar and you like? No, it's like just just racing, but like metal. Yeah, there was metal going on. It was just really metal themed. All the cars had like. Mohawks or something like that. Uh, I don't know. It was a while back. Twisted Metal could have been scary for a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, the clown. So scary Here's the, clown. I'm sorry. Now we're on that. What was the reason for you buying Twisted Metal? I had Twisted Metal. And every time I think I wasn't about this, I'm like, guy. why did I buy this game? Why didn't you? Why, uh, I mean, I had you? I had fun once I bought it. Right. But mm-hmm. like, seriously, it's a destruction derby well, with Oh, yeah. And you see rockets. a clown... On the, it, was, it was just the clown with his car, like circular, yeah. Like a circular it was, it was motorcycle like, thing. I just think about like where, it, where it, like, I just think about where it originated from. I just really think it was like three guys who just like were like, yeah, I, I don't know. It was just like, oh man, let's, let's just shoot the shit. Up let's just have like this dope ass car that shot rockets. And they made yeah, a movie they just, about it. Um, they don't even get me. Don't. They don't. made a movie about that? Not specifically. Oh, you mean Death Race? Oh, Death Race. Death Race. Oh, who was in? Who was in that? Jason Statham. Who's awesome? Who's awesome? Don't give. Did they make a two? Don't, uh, I hope not. Uh, yeah, they did make a two. They? I think it might have been DVD. Yeah. 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 It might have been DVD. Yeah. Don't, I, I hate when they put Jason Statham in dumb things. And everything, though. Dude, I'm like, well, he's like really our only action star. Let's get Ed, Ed for the win. You're going to get yep. me rambling about Jason Statham. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's, let's get to your game. What was What's your game? game, man? Okay. My game that I didn't expect to be scary was Minecraft, actually. Didn't we're expect talking, to be we're talking about like now Minecraft, which yeah, I yes. literally you're, just start watching all these YouTube videos. You're walking around <laughs> expecting to just to find some gold yeah, and like, make some know, minerals, and then what? Yeah, you're walking around trying to collect um, resources. Collect women. And then can night, you can you collect? Wait, women there's night time in this game. Yeah, there's night time. Okay. Um, can you collect women at night time? No. Okay. This is this isn't this is not, <laughs> I'm not terrifying. Interested. STDs are terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> they are actually. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin knows. He's like, trust me. I trust know. me. No, go ahead. But found- yeah, you, nighttime comes, and that's when all the creatures come out like zombies, spiders, skeletons what? with bows and arrows, and a thing called a creeper. You're selling me on this game. I, I've seen it, you can't get away from it, it's online everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I never played it. I played Terraria, which is the exact mm-hmm. same game. Very cool, Just 2D. by the way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the creepers pretty much they sneak up on you, they like they're programmed to sneak up behind you, mm-hmm. and they explode. It's freaking terrifying because what what kind of view do you have a game? Can you see the person. creepers first, it's first person. person? Oh no! So no. yeah, it's, it's super scary. No, and it sucks too when you got like so many resources that you spent hours collecting, and a creeper sneaks up behind you and explodes, and you lose everything. You know what, the, what do you lose? Like your gold or your minerals? Yeah, your everything that you were carrying. Like oh, if you didn't oh, like right. put you, in you, the you chest want or something. You loot and then you, yeah. you got all that stuff. Wow. You, you go to bring back. Yeah, I, I'd be I'd be upset. Yeah, I'm pretty it's upset. Upsetting and terrifying. Is it a one-hit kill or um, you have health, right? Yeah, pretty close. I mean, like a number like, system. Yeah, you have uh, about <laughs> eight hearts, I believe. And okay, it takes out like depending how close it is to you. Uh, you, you know, your I, I saw the trailer from Minecraft. Mm-hmm. The probably the day I played 3D Dot Hero. I don't know if you guys ever played that. No, it was 3D Dot Hero was a little like Zelda. But like on the PlayStation 3 with these Minecraft kind of like everything was kind of, you know, that's where big blocky. blocky. It yeah. was really dope. Yeah. I think a lot of people slept on it because Minecraft was just PlayStation dropping. 3? PlayStation 3. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's like a dope. But like you started off with this huge sword. I, what I'm getting at is like I was confused because I saw that and I was like, oh, this looks really dope. Build everything. And I got 3D out here. I'm like, is this, is this it? <laughs> is this, <laughs> this it? it? Why, why didn't I read when I was watching? Underwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I was reading on like the updates as they were building the game a while back, mm-hmm. and there was these guys. Uh, I remember reading 
if you look them in, like if you get your cursor on their face, oh, what Enderman, are they Enderman, yes. and they yes. just pop up right in front of you or something. Yeah, like that, they right? teleport and like they open their mouth and they get all freaky. They make weird noises. Terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. Yeah. Like Angry Bird noises. Um, <laughs> actually, <laughs> almost. It's like that's pretty scary. That's scary. Yeah, I think yeah, just but... coming out of your mouth is pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm, my buddy, uh, we always used to talk about like, man, who did they get in like the studio to make these bird noises? Because these are amazing. Anybody? <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> the Angry Birds. It wasn't the game. It was literally the sound effects of the birds. You're mm -hmm. like. Wah, <laughs> it and was amazing. <laughs> right. <laughs> it goes that to was, show how perfect. much sound has an effect on a video game. Oh, right? absolutely. To make Definitely. it better. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Uh -huh. So th this is what we're listening to. Is uh, is this the night theme of it? Um, it plays different music throughout the game. Okay. Play. Um, it's kind of random what music comes on. But it's yeah. always like soothing and relaxing. It's I didn't expect really it to nice. be like that, to be honest. Really? Uh, I didn't know what I expected, but I didn't expect that. I feel like I missed out on that game. There's, yeah. no, there's so many games, guys. Yeah, I can't play yeah, them all. I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm not an octopus, man. I'm not an octopus. I just don't have the eight arms. I don't have the time I just can't do it, or man. The arms. I can't do it. Sorry. I can't do it. You can't do it. I can't, man. I just can't. I'm giving up. Oh. <laughs> I spend so much time on game on like a game, you know? Like it'll be like a four hour game and I'll just get everything unlocked in there so it mm. ends up being like a fifteen hour yeah. game. Yeah. Which is the way I like it, but I end up doing this thing where I have like a hundred games that are probably like 50% finished, you know? Yeah, you know mm. you know the only reason you really do that is full on bragging rights. Cuz yeah, to, be, to beat games or no. just to beat the oh, full no, to, thing to, of to the game. beat the full thing of the yeah. game. Cuz so here's what happens. You get man. you awkwardly get what the other gamers. If you're a real person, you know what I mean? Which you're, I like, if you're a real so. person, <laughs> if you're a real person, you exist. <laughs> And you go out and you meet other gamers, and they're like, "Oh yeah, man, I play Final Fantasy uh, 10. I'm like, "Oh, me too, man." Oh, did you, like you all get, the ultimate weapons? Like, yeah, exactly. Did you yeah. get all the ultimate weapons? Mm -hmm. Now, if you say if you didn't, you're like, "What's you, an ultimate I mean, weapon?" That, that like, entire oh, conversation is done. You didn't, yeah, because like, yeah. he's gonna be like, "Well, you really didn't play that game." Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're like, "Well, yeah, but that battle, that music on that uh, you know, uh, battle music was awesome." Like, yeah, okay, <laughs> like, sure it was. It wasn't as awesome as getting all, unlocking all the weapons. Yeah, you obviously don't have enough patience to play the game. You're obviously you really didn't suck. care enough about the game yeah. to get into. You gotta so, be a gamer, man. Like when you game, you gotta be a gamer. You know, I'm sorry. Don't just so, game. Some people are pretentious about it. You can you can still talk about it, but you know, you didn't beat the game. I would lie about it every time somebody like, hey, oh, man, yeah, did you, like, did you unlock everything? Like, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and then run away before they ask details. Exactly. Absolutely. Did you get that? How'd you go? Uh, how'd you defeat the uh, ruby weapon? I uh, <laughs> hit him. I just hit him with the. Uh, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you like, you know, the funny thing was, I hit him with like a remedy. I used an item on him, and he just died. It was crazy. <laughs> what? 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 How did you do that? It was crazy. It was I put it on YouTube as a glitch. Look me up. I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, cheater, cheater. Eight. Yeah, and he's he's gone. I'll never see him again. I, I like that. I like so, that. Um, Nate Bit, what is your unexpectedly scary game? Unexpected scary game. Let me. Th all right. All right. Back Mario 64. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was scary moments in that game, but no, that is not it. All right. Imagine being in a one-on-one -on -one round. Uh, Halo 2. Just any of the Halos, really, but one-on-one -on -one round in Halo 2 specifically is when I realized how scary this game was. I mean, uh, I wish I could remember the, the map name, but it was a smaller map. They remade it in the new one. And I'd be playing one-on-one -on -one versus somebody else. And if anybody's ever played those before, you'll know exactly how tense those are. Just because you're hiding, but all of a sudden someone just come out with a shotgun and shoot you. You know, the rounds are long, and they vary really quickly as far as scores. So I just remember, it was one of the very first games where my heart was literally beating. You know, I'm just, I'm figuring out where this guy's at, and I don't know where he is. You're trying to go, and the score is really tight. Maybe it's like two, two, three, three, or something like that. Yeah. And there's like five minutes left, but you only you're only gonna get like two or three kills the most you, in that time. You know what I hated about that is when you actually start getting your ass kicked, and the score oh, was, was like the, the score worst. was the score's like ten to two, uh, and you're like, you don't know what's there's no is. way I can weed this guy. And you're like, I don't yeah. want to be a dick and quit. But I can't beat this dude. And at it's this so level. clear who the better person yeah. is, like who the better player <laughs> you know, is. I, in that, I, in that I actually used to get that feeling from like double team matches in like Halo Three. Oh yeah, going we'll, in double team matches, I got my boy with me, and then it'd be a point. It'd be like we'll ever cross point where they would just take this commanding lead, and then it'd be a point where we spawned and they had snipers. They both had snipers. Yeah. They and spawn you'd be, kill. You'd be walking worst. and you'd be like, oh my god, if I know if I walk here and get this, you know, rocket launcher, I'm gonna get sniped. And you do it anyways because you have to get it to like mm. even a score, and you get sniped every boom time. and you the minute that's the minute the bullet goes off it hits you because halo's awesome and the timing was just amazing yeah and it's depressing 
it, it is. It is. They changed the game a little bit with where, how, where, and how weapons spawn. But I felt like in Halo 2, it was cheap enough where like you could spawn, yeah. kill people, of whether or where they're going. But the new ones, not quite like that. But I felt it added some kind of strategic, you know, advantage to it, depending on how you took it. You, you could not go that route. But you could, you know, and it could it could change the whole game. You know what was? I, I'm sorry, this just popped in my head. But remember 007 Go Nine in '64? No, it was that game. Well, okay, it was just like kidding. the greatest. I'm just the kidding. greatest first yeah. person shooter like ever. Oh, yeah. Now, um, it's remember? Aged, okay, right? I remember you used to die, and the blood used to like just come over your skin, <laughs> <Dun -dun. laughs> like dun dun dun, <laughs> and like just every single time. But that, but um, I got so good with the spawn points in that game that I used to get the uh, remote mines, lay them. I was the remote mines or proximity. Yeah, proximity, proximity mines. mines were the shoes. Put them in like your, your spawn and just kill you. Like it'll it happen at least four <laughs> yeah. times. And it was, you know, it was just so cheap. But I was, it was like I, I was so serious and you get those <laughs> you get those commanding leads just yeah. randomly just by putting mines everywhere like you get so many on your round oh yeah just picking them up just, you, you couldn't walk into a room without exploding oh, you yeah. wouldn't know oh yeah i know i know they did a remake of that game i played a little bit of it on Wii. how was it um, it was it oh, was I, solid. I, I didn't play the multiplayer aspect of it. It but was it was it was, it was, right. it was solid. No, they, they should have just put it. To me, they shouldn't have put it on Wii. It was what the, the platform choice was, was a bad idea. Was it not a uh, platform multi platform? No, it wasn't multi platform. It was I th just I think, Wii. Oh, I think they re released it in HD. They were, I think they were really trying to get some sales on the Wii at this point because they're like oh, yeah. exclusively on Wii because Wii's I think not it was making any money. Temporary exclusive. Yeah, because I mean, what what did Wii make money yeah. off of? Super Smash Brothers. They made a, they made some Wii money. I was, watching, I was watching G4 and they yeah. used the Wii as like a door stopper. I was like, damn, man. <laughs> it, it's become that. It's become yeah. that. I was like, damn. Uh, all, all your copies of Wii Sports as a coaster. Oh my god. You, know? you get 12. You get you get 3 copies like, of Wii Sports every time you buy these. a Wii. Like, how do, how, yeah, yeah. Just, give it to you. Give it no, to your you, friends. As your friends come over like, "Hey, man, you want this game?" Like, no, I don't. Like, okay, I'm just going to leave it over here. You anyways. know what's uh, it's unfair. They counted that game, the game that comes with the console. Uh, as a sale, oh, yeah, so they said that, that that game is one of the highest selling games ever. That's ridiculous. It's unfair. I think that's, it's unfair. That's retarded. Because no, it's you get retarded. a console to play a game, and that game comes with it, and all of a sudden it's a sale for them. Yeah, mm. give us a real game. Yeah, I mean like you know when the pack when the packages start coming out, like get buy Wii and get Zelda for free. That's mm. when like that's a real game. Yeah, I think they did that with the 64. Buy the Go Zelda and get like the Go 64 and like, Ooh, a Go controller. I don't remember that time. Yeah, I didn't buy it, but like you know I bet somebody did because that would have been awesome. And now they sold on eBay for like five thousand dollars. Not messing around. God, I gotta collect our next system. I think I'm gonna collect it, and fifty years later, I'll, I'll do something with it. Man, I feel like you have an NES nowadays, and it's it's worth like a hundred bucks. You know? Yeah, it's I mean, well, crazy. It, it depends on the condition, though. Like if you got like the Okie doke NES, yeah, you're not you can gonna get anything on, above like, uh, one fifty the max if someone's paying crazy I, for I mean, it. I don't know. Give it twenty more years, man. There's gonna be like Ed, Ed for the Windgun over here is gonna be like, man. I really want to play Bubble th Bobble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I I listened to episode one episode of Slightly Yard Treasure Chest. Oh my Chess, god, yeah. it got me thinking and about that. It's got me thinking about. It in eight bit, those are good times because we all we, we all fell out over the whole mom fish killing. We just oh, yeah. we just couldn't <laughs> do it. Terrified. I'm still shaking about yeah, that. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know. I I don't know. But there, I mean, there's a lot of games out there. I think that always had like these just levels that just were unexpected, and you're just like, this is too creepy for you know whatever Lion King princess game I'm playing, which I never played by the way. Lion King for the Super NES. I never played. Oh, it was great. Oh, I just can't wait. They have the song in there? Oh, they have the, they, there's no singing on there. Oh, they just had like the, they had the, 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 the <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. Pretty oh good. Oh my game. god. You're okay. collecting Beatles. It's cool. All right, Jumping well, on. Well, if things. you guys don't have anything else, man, you guys got any, uh, any, no? No? No. Well, no. Okay. Let's move on to our indie artists. Again, uh, this part of our show, we like to really play tribute to up-and-coming indie artists that are really coming out well on the... A lot of guys are dropping a lot of 8-bit scenes, uh, um, remixes, and, you know, there's just some really interesting music out there that a lot of people are sleeping on. So, uh... I don't mean to be lame here, but let's wake up and listen to <laughs> I can't even say that. They're out there. They're out there. <laughs> We're and, sleeping and on them, guys. Need we need to wake up and listen to the music. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Nate, Nate Bitt's going to lead us into this one with, uh, who is this, Ch Charlie Amor? Charlie Amor. Charlie Amor. Yeah. That is yeah. sexy. Yeah. It's, yeah. He's, he's, he's a pretty cool person. Actually, I, uh, I, I, I'm uh, hoping to he. He, uh, he, I found him on SoundCloud, as I'm a pretty frequenter on SoundCloud. I have my own SoundCloud, um, which is 
part of the last the, episode, but moving make, on from that, uh, I found different people on there, and of course, the only way to really get uh, big on SoundCloud is to find new people, um, to spread your music and listen to other people's music. I discovered Charlie Amore. He actually, uh, I have a group on there that he submitted to, and I started hearing his stuff. It was a, it's a video game music uh, group. Uh, and you're listening to a track right now. It's uh, but he just pumps out stuff, and it's always good. It's it's just cool stuff like this. Um, for the groups, I have to approve songs, and every single one he puts out, I'm just like, hell yeah, this is sweet. So you're like thumbs up that bitch. Baby. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, heart. You know, um, hey Charlie, I heard your new song. I just had to give another thumbs up because I love you. I really, really <laughs> enjoy your song, Charlie. No, he just he puts out a bunch of different kinds, and he's been doing it for a while. And he's actually from London. Yeah, London, London, Britain, UK. I'm always afraid when I'm online playing somebody who's just like in Japan and like Mario Kart. I'm like, I'm gonna get killed. <laughs> as soon as you see the red dot, you're yeah, like, oh, like oh, oh, force quit, force quit. <laughs> you know, yeah. rage. Uh, don't even want to mess around. Don't even get me started on StarCraft. Yeah, let me. Dude. This this is dope though. Let's um, wow. Yeah, yeah let's, let's say he has another track, uh, which is a little more orchestral. Um, that's the kind of stuff he does. He does both. He does eight bit stuff. He does orchestral things. You know, it's. It's uh, it keeps it pretty dynamic and it's always let's pretty interesting. Let's put a little definition on this orchestral. I don't know if I can spell it. Well, right let's now. uh, <laughs> let's play it. Listen, to this. it's vastly different. He's using the uh, I talked to him. He's using the East West uh, plugins for those who are interested in that. Uh, it's a plugin for Logic and Pro Tools, and as you can tell, they are amazing. Super expensive, though. Uh, you're not going to get out of there without spending at least $500 to $1,000, depending on which package you want. But, you know, clearly, Charlie got it, and it sounds great. I'm kind of jealous. Take, take, take a listen. Okay, well, here's my question for you, Ed, and for the win. What game, like, what kind of game do you think, like, su would really suit that music? Like, or what scene in a game do you think really, now, either pick, either make up a game from just your crazy old imagination, because I know how crazy you are, or <laughs> pick a, pick one of your favorite games and, you know, really replace that music for it. What game would you put that, what, you know, what well, game would you put that music It seems <laughs> like a waltz to me, so, It like... does seem waltzy. I'm Walt. Oh, obviously, Final Fantasy VIII, the okay. Walt scene. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That, that was a great That's, That yeah. scene was pretty. Yeah. It uh -huh. was pretty. Yeah, that would that fit was perfectly with yeah, that. As soon as you said Walt, because I wasn't even thinking about that, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly the same scene. I can see it in there. Uh, as far as like a genre specific, though, what would you think? Ooh. You know, like, I I'd probably think RPGs. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'd, I'd go off and say RPGs, but I'm actually still pondering because I feel like there's something else. I could see it. Maybe in like a puzzle game, even. Yeah. Okay. You know? I'm digging puzzle. I was thinking almost kind of like a scene where I mean, not, not like your solid snake, but like you know, we get in like these drama casual games. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, was that Heart Rain? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Heavy like, Rain. Heavy Rain. Yeah, excuse heavy me. Rain. Hard Rain. Hard, hard Rain. rain. <laughs> <laughs> the rain's so hard, I just can't go outside anymore. It hard is. Rain. Um, Heavy Rain. You're getting games like that, and I could definitely see like a detective walking into uh, maybe like a. It's still like Waltzy walking mm -hmm. into a ball, and they're playing this, and it's everybody's an elitist. And, I'm you know, thinking like like a Steam. What is it called? A steampunk. Steampunk game. You know, uh, maybe that. Mm -hmm. Just for yeah. whatever reason that popped in my head. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's dope though. It's yeah. super yeah, dope. It's really that good. was that was amazing. Like I I, I don't know. I, I he, I'm he has a lot like, of stuff online. I'm trying to think of like where I listen to that in real life. Like you know, I'm like girl comes over. I'm just like, hey, listen. You to probably this. never heard. Of <laughs> hey, yeah. let's waltz right now. Yeah. Uh, waltz I right think here. if you asked a girl to waltz, what do you, what do you think would happen? Like you bring a girl home at the, you go to the bar. It's like it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like one in the morning. One in the morning, you bring a girl home to your place. You know, you're you're hanging out. Just got done drinking a, a Stella. Yeah. Mm. And you're like, hey, hey, waltz with me. Let's waltz. I honestly, for anyone who's just in, uh, you know loves video game music and creates video game music, I honestly believe our you know just our ultimate girlfriends would s just super accept that. Like you walked in, you'd be like, hey, and you put like Final Fantasy VI boss music on, like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then after you're done with doing whatever you're doing, <laughs> da na na na. Oh no, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, so good. Those little, just the little characters. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my so god, this was so great when they died. Uh, I mean, just to get part. this out there though, uh, you can get Charlie Moore. You listen to it at least uh, online. Um, I think yeah, yeah, just just a Facebook. But if you want to hear his music online, it's Charlie Moore. 
That's actually the uh, the URL, soundcloud.com, Charlie Amore. It's Charlie, the last name Amore, which is A-R-M-O-U-R. Just as easy as that. So ch- check that out, everybody. It's well, good stuff. We'll also post a couple of his links and a couple of tunes that we played on our website. There's a lot more. Uh, slightly ajar, treasurechest.com. Oh, but I, it's abbreviated. It's S A. T C H V G M dot com. That's right, video guys? game music. That's video game music, guys. Go look us up. Just Google it, cause you know, of course, no one has this ridiculous. And URL. Give us some hits. You know, we need it. Oh my God, where's the hits at? <laughs> like hit, you know, hit me up. Hit, hit, hit me up, man. Don't <laughs> kick me up, man. Just kick me <laughs> yeah. up. I need, I need a beat down right now. Ooh, yeah. I need a beat down. Well, I mean, yeah, that was that was amazing. I actually, yeah, I yeah. can't wait to like I'll actually look up a couple of more of these artists. And guys, mm-hmm. if you are listening to the show and you're any artist, why don't you go ahead and actually send us some Please music? Please email us. Let we, us know someone you know. Yeah, absolutely. We love to hear it and get that music out there, and we're all about it. Um, we're bringing you Nate Bit How Do you, um, Do It Yourself videos soon. Look out for those soon. on our YouTube page, and also. Look out on our pl- on our playlist on our YouTube page, where it's going to be music that you can actually research, kind of like your lava level music, your forest level music, and get a kind of episodes good, to come. Exactly, get really good themes of any music that you're trying to create. Look out for that. Next week's theme is going along with the theme of the month: scary video games. I'm your host, Jess Mark, again co-host here with Nate Bit. Bit. Hey, yeah. thanks for listening, yeah, guys. Come crazy, it's actually. We love it. We love you. And our and our evil producer, Evil. You're evil, dude. Absolutely. What? You're pretty evil. I've seen you. Just because I didn't have a childhood doesn't make me evil. <laughs> and our evil producer, Ed for the win. He's good. Ed, He's hey, good. Man. Thanks, guys. Signing Thanks for out. Listening, guys.